There's no vaccine against the Zika virus, so controlling it comes down to controlling the mosquito that carries the virus. Countries in Latin America are spraying insecticides to kill the mosquito, but more needs to be done. Outdoor spraying has uh, limited effectiveness in that these mosquitoes breed in a wide variety of container types that typically aren't going to be exposed when widespread spraying occurs. The mosquito that carries the Zika virus can lay eggs in old tires, water cisterns, bottle caps, or any place where there's a drop or two of water. Insecticides can also be used to target the larval stages where the mosquitoes are living in their aquatic habitats. Researchers are also trying to genetically change the mosquito. We try to uh, manipulate mosquitoes in such a way to make them resistant actually to these viruses. This way a transmission cycle can be interrupted. Still another method uses a bacteria to either sterilize the males or to prevent the mosquitoes from carrying the virus. Researchers at the British company Oxitec have modified the mosquito so that its offspring die before they can reproduce. An Oxitec scientist told VOA that trials in the Cayman Islands and Brazil have reduced wild mosquito larvae by more than 80 percent. Once this particular mosquito population falls to a level where it's no longer a threat, careful monitoring would determine if additional modified mosquitoes would need to be released or if insecticides could do the job. With a plant in Brazil and a larger one in the works, Oxitec is perhaps the company closest to having a ready solution. The most effective approach to suppressing the populations is going to be to take an integrated strategy that combines uh, things like these genetically modified mosquitoes as well as traditional use of insecticides and elimination of breeding habitat. Much of this work is still in the research stage. In the meantime, millions of pregnant women are depending on researchers to come up with something quickly and spare their babies from the risk of lifelong disabilities linked to the Zika virus. Carol Pearson, VOA News, Washington.